Hi viewers, welcome to LMA Solution. And today we are going to see about vehicle to grid and grid to vehicle in single phase grid with the control of uh, fuzzy logic system. Okay, so this is a Simlink model, so developed for uh, testing that vehicle to grid and grid to vehicle with the fuzzy logic control. The system consists of a single phase grid. The peak, peak amplitude of that grid is 325 volt. The frequency of the single phase grid is 50 hertz. So this is a series inductance in the source side is 2.3 milli entry and this is single phase converter. So it can operate in both direction. So that means it can convert DC to DC as well as it can convert DC to AC. So it depends upon the condition of battery side. So this is the DC link capacitor is connected in between this converter and the, the bidirectional converter. So this is known as the bidirectional converter. So this converter having two IGPT switch and then you have filter in uh, that means filter lc filter so these are the lc filter and here we have the battery so battery is rated at 120 volt nominal and capacity of the battery is 48 eh so initial state of charge of the battery is here consider as 50 percentage and then we are using lithium ion battery so this system have two kind of control. So one is converter control and another one is fuzzy control. The fuzzy control is used to for control the, the current of the battery. Okay. So then we need to measure the the battery current and the battery current will be compared with the reference current. So this reference current will be choose the operation like vehicle to grid or grid to vehicle so if it is positive then it will be act as a then my reference current is positive then it will be uh, operating as a vehicle to grid concept when reference current is negative it will be operat operating as grid to vehicle so positive reference means battery will supply the power to the grid so negative reference mean grid will be supply the power to the battery okay so this reference current will be desired the operation so here we are going to compare the reference current with the actual current of the battery and you have to find out the error and then you have to find out the rate of change of error so this is going to be process of a fuzzy logic control the fuzzy logic control will generate the duty cycle in order to operate this battery in vehicle to grid or grid to vehicle concept. So after that, that the duty cycle passes via pedulum generator. So this pedulum generator will generate the pedulum impulse for this bidirectional con converter IGBT. Okay. So I am going to open the fuzzy. So here already we created the fuzzy rules for that uh, vehicle to grid and grid to vehicle. So this is a fuzzy rule we have created error rate of change of error. So having the error having 5 members function and rate of change of error also having 5 members function. So the output nothing but duty cycle. So duty cycle also having 5 members function. So totally we have created uh, 25 rules. So these are rules we have created for this system. So this is going to be used to for control the, the current of the battery. So based upon this control logic. So next you have to see about the converter control logic. So this converter control logic when we uh, operate in both direction. So this converter uh, going to be used to for control the uh, source current sinusoidal as well as it going to make that uh, source current in phase with the voltage. Okay. 
So for that here we need to measure the deceiling voltage and then it's going to be compared with the reference voltage. So here we are going to maintain the reference voltage around 380 volt. So actual deceiling voltage compared with the 380 and it's going to be processed by a PA controller. So this PA controller will be generate the, the current reference that means peak current reference magnitude. So that current reference is going to be multiplied with the sinusoidal. So in order to generate the actual current reference in the sinusoidal nature. Okay. So in order to generate actual reference current sinusoidal, so you have to measure the grid voltage and then it's going to be processed via PLL. So PLL will be generated to omit, omit nothing but to phase angle with respect to time and then it is going to be multiplied, multiplied with the sine so it will generate sine wave with the one, uh, one uh, peak amplitude so it is going to be multiplied with the reference current from the P8 controller so here we will get the actual the current in the sinusoidal nature and then this current will be compared with the, the source current right so this is source current and then after comparing the source current with the reference it going to be processed via PA controller so this PA controller will be generate the modulating wave or controlling signal and it going to be processed via sinusoidal pedulium right so it will be generate the pedulium pulse sinusoidal pedulium pulse for this converter in order to operate uh, this uh, then in order to make that source current and uh, source voltage in phase according with operation of vehicle degree turbine to vehicle concept so this is a control action for the converter control so now i am going to test this model with the uh, two operating condition that mean i am going to make i am going to uh, initially i am going to operate that battery at the 10 amps and then i am going to change to reference current to minus minus 10 amps. 10 amp that mean i am going to operate uh, the system initially vehicle to grid after once again it is going to be changed to grid to vehicle and and then i am going to change the condition first i am going to operate the system in the grid to vehicle concept and then vehicle to grid concept so here i am going to simulate the model and then you have to see the results so this is source voltage source current so this is battery soc and then this is battery current and the battery voltage so this is dc voltage so here you can see that we fix that uh, reference current is 10 amps and then uh, the battery current is maintained at 10 amps and then you can see that now battery soc is uh, keep on decreasing from 50 percentage right so that means now battery is operated in the discharging mode that means uh, it will be operated like vehicle to grid concept and also you can see that uh, the phase angle between source voltage and source current right both are having 180 degree phase shift right so both having 180 degree phase shift that means if it is 180 degree phase shift that means grid is taking power from the another source right so here the battery is supplying the power to the grid so that's why the phase angle between the source voltage and the current having 180 degree phase shift and here you can see that we are fixing that the deceiling voltage at 380 volt reference voltage and you can see that the deceiling voltage is maintained at 380 volt so you have to wait for uh, one second after one second the reference current change from 10 amps to minus 10 amps now you can see that at one second the reference current change from uh, 10 amps to minus 10 amps so because of that you can see that the battery current change from uh, plus 10 to minus 10 that mean uh, it going for charging mode that mean it comes to grid to vehicle concept so during that change you can see that so the current uh, going to be changed according with the condition of the battery current 
and here you can see the battery start charging light the source of the batteries keep on increasing and also you can see that uh, the phase angle between source voltage and current so both are having in phase right that means now the grid is supplying uh, power to the vehicle or grid supplying power to the battery okay so that's why the phase angle between the source voltage and current is sinusoidal so in phase right sinusoidal and also in phase each other right that means the both condition right for a grid to vehicle and a vehicle to grid concept right the systems operate at unity power factor okay so it's always maintained into unity power factor okay and also here you can see that during the change of reference current from 10 amps to minus 10 amps oh, the dieseling voltage will be having some under suit so it comes to 300 volt and then after 0.2 second is settled to 380 volt okay so this is because of uh, changing uh, action from uh, vehicle to grid to grid to vehicle okay so because of that uh, the dieseling voltage will be having some uh, a transient after some second point to seconds is settled to the AD volt okay so this is working of a grid to vehicle and vehicle to grid concept in this single phase and with the physiologic control so we can operate the same system with the uh, that means we can operate the system like uh, from grid to vehicle to vehicle to grid so just you go to the change the reference current so here you can fix minus 10 amps and then here you can fix plus 10 amps so initially it will be operated like uh, grid to vehicle and then is after one second it will be changed to vehicle to de vehicle to grid and just you have to change the reference of this uh, block okay so this is working of uh, vehicle to grid and grid to vehicle in single phase grid with the physiologic control so thanks for watching our videos so kindly subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.